What up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mood, and look who I got. It's the new Vampire Counts White King model. And um, we're gonna do a little unboxing today. So, this is the new White King offered by Games Workshop. It's a one sprue plastic piece that they are doing a lot of their hero models in now. So, I've unboxed it, and we're gonna take a look at it. But for now, let's take a look at how it glues together. There are only five pieces to this one, oops, five pieces, and um, no fiddly head bit all by itself, or um, really any small fiddly bits, looks like it's just a molded base, four pieces of it that go together, so let's take a look at it. You get the molded base that is very Vampire County looks just like Lewis's base in that it's got a got a skull in it and oh look that's this is the left foot already included so so it's very specific for this model you can't really use it with other with other models very very nicely which I find is totally okay you've got the cloak piece the front of the torso the main body and I guess a middle piece and then over here you've got the sword arm. So we're gonna build it in real time and I am really excited to get this model built up. I've got my pair of privateer press model clippers but really you know what any hobby store sells these like clippers and um, I've, I've bought one that was like only four bucks, if you can believe it. And here, I've even got it to show it to you. This one right here, it's like four bucks from my local hobby store. And it's small, and um, but, but it still clips just as well. So you don't have to spend designer prices for designer products unless, you know, you buying Games Workshop stuff. That's what Games Workshop is for. Save your money on the modeling supplies. Especially, oh man, <laughs> like Games Workshop plastic glue and PVA glue. No reason why you need to spend all that money on that. Save your money for the models. Is what I always say. Oh cool, the White King's got like a ring of keys on him. Check, check that out. <laughs> get you close in. Look at that, isn't that awesome? It's the keys to my heart. <laughs> Alright, let's build this sucker up. There are instructions here so I can see what I'm doing. Don't mess up like I did with Lewis. When I built up Lewis, okay. So, main body piece, boom. Chainmail skirt, number two, boom. All right, how, uh, oh, it's upside down, okay. Like this, is it like this, I think? Yes, yes, okay, so the little leg armor plate goes right under, oh, sorry about that. The little leg armor plate goes right under the knee armor plate for this first piece here. Right, so. Ah! I need my little unclogger rod. Yeah, so I was super excited to walk into my modeling store today and see that they had all this new Vampire Counts kit. And then um, I was not super excited as I was being rung up and my bank account was not super excited and my checking account, they were not super excited as I was. But then I got home and I looked at the boxes and I was like, vampire couch, oh yeah. All right, now we're gluing on the front piece of the torso like so. so Looking for good glue points, I'm gonna do up here, the back of the head, 
as well as over here, this flat section. You can usually tell where pieces get glued on to other pieces because of how flat they are. There we go. Clicks together really nicely in place. Okay, piece number four is this cape. So first you want to dry fit it to see where it's supposed to go. Okay, so it doesn't even go it doesn't go above the shoulder, it goes slots in behind here really nicely. So you see there's this obvious flat area that it's supposed to join to, so I'm just gonna glue it up. And slot it in place, kaboom! Finally the right arm. You can see that it easily is going to go over there. So all I'm going to really do is add a little bit of extra glue into this join here, down here, and at the shoulder. And then it fits all together. Should fit, hopefully it'll fit. It's not fitting down here at the bottom as ni nicely as I would like. Uh, down here at the bottom seems like there's weird little gap. Hmm. Hmm. Liquid green stuff to the rescue, possibly? Oh, uh, it's kind of a bummer because the rest of this model is so... fits so nicely together. Okay, so I might have to wait till this dries and then just go in with some some liquid green stuff. But did you see how easy the rest of that model was to put together? It's about five minutes. And then the last thing you're gonna do is you're going to glue the flat part of the bottom. You're gonna glue the base. And you are going to pop that baby in. Like how? What? Wait, what? Or what? Uh, what? Ah! I don't understand. Is it like this? Okay. Got a little thrown off for a second. I didn't realize that this is... This piece goes... Oh! Okay, it's like a slab that he's stepping on. Oh my gosh, it's the lizard man old one Saurus all over again. I'm totally doing something wrong. I bet I'm totally doing something wrong. No? Like that? Oh my gosh, what am I doing? You know what? How's this supposed to go? Show me picture. Oh, you are no help at all. Okay, it's like this. I was wrong. I thought the little slab of marble was supposed to go over the skull on the base, but it's not. It's actually on the side of it. So it looks like that. Aha! You got the touch! Bum, 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 bum. You got the power! Yeah! Boom, 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 boom. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that! Oh, that sucks. Oh well. What do I think of the model? I think it's awesome. Extra options? Absolutely none. You only get what you get. Not even like the Karen Wraith model had. You know those extra alternate skulls. Uh, this one has nothing really. Once you cut these pieces from the frame you get an empty half a sprue of frame with absolutely nothing left on it. So if you want options, if you want extra bits, then you're gonna have to go looking elsewhere because this guy comes all by himself. What do I think of the model itself though? I think the model is fantastic. Look at that. Look at that face. Hello my baby. Hello my honey. He's like, it's, <laughs> it looks like he's got this huge smile. He's so happy to be out of the ground. Um, I love the molded base. I love the, the, the look of how he's kind of stepping on that piece of, of uh, cemetery marble. And um, I love the fact that they gave him a crown on his head. Just look how big and beefy this guy is. If only the rest of the Graveguard models were as big and beefy. I really wish that they were. The rest of the Graveguard is, you know, small and really weedy compared to this guy. His full plate armor, his huge heavy cloak, the a, a cape, I mean, just the trim on it, the awesome detail, that ring of keys, 
I can see now he's got this little vial on his belt that you could paint in like in the picture they've got it painting a glowing ghastly green the shield I love how the shield is hidden by the, the cape if you turn it around you can't really see it I think it's a great model it's a great release for the new vampire counts and um, if you have a vampire counts uh, I hear that the these guys are are great to have white kings awesome definitely give the model two thumbs up